Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today is a beautiful um, Tuesday morning and uh, our grinder has just arrived. This is our brand new grinder which uh, we have uh, imported and, and we are the uh, official distributor in Singapore. And this is the brand uh, from Italy called the Fiorenzato. And uh, we have brought in so far one model first and we'll see how the response is and we will consider bringing other models under the flagship of Fiorenzato. And this is a hundred, this is an Italian made uh, grinder. And for this particular model, uh, it is very similar to our DF64. Um, and um, it is similar in a way that the uh, grind adjustments are quite uh, similar to each other. That means you're able to grind from uh, espresso all the way to filter coffee and um, and but um, the finishing on this grinder is much better as compared to the DF64 right and you will show in a short while when I do the unboxing so today is going to be a short unboxing video and probably uh, try to grind some coffee bean to show you and if, if we have the time today I will also try to pull a shot uh, to show you the how to grind and how to dial in this grinder on an espresso machine right so let's get started. Alright, so let's first unbox this uh, grinder. Uh, by the way, I'm opening this uh, white color unit. So far, we have the white color, we have the chrome color, uh, the silver color, and the black color. And the black color comes with the silver, uh, sorry, the rose gold finishing, which is pretty nice. Uh, but this is the white color unit and let's see how it looks like Okay, let me get something Oh, the box is pretty well packed. Uh, they use a uh, very, very um, solid uh, staple bullets uh, to secure the opening of the machine. Uh, instead of just taping, they use this uh, very thick uh, stapling machine to actually staple the top to secure the machine. Okay, so there's another one here. Right, so as you can see, this is from the model called All Ground. All Ground means you can ground all range of coffee. That's why they get the name of All Ground. So let's see what's inside this box. I think it's probably the hopper and the instruction manual. Yep, correct. So what you see here is actually the the hopper. So this is not um, a grinder that's been designed for single dosing. So if you are looking for a single dosing grinder, right, uh, we will be converting this later on to the single dosing function. So do stay tuned for the um, to the future modification we're going to do to this grinder. So same thing, right? This one I believe can contain about two hundred fifty grams of coffee, right? So it's a it's a it's made of plastic. But it feels really premium and uh, well finished right they also have a, a grind catcher right this can be installed installed uh, directly below the exit chute so we're going to try this out later on and of course it comes with an instructional manual right which is quite a thick one right so if you are interested you can actually read this but let's just go straight to open the grinder Right, so okay, let me bring down the grinder so that I can lift it up. The grinder is very, very heavy. Right, it's packed in all this uh, brown color paper, right, to act as a cushion. 
So let me get the box out of the way. Right, and uh, for all the Singapore units, right, it comes pre-fitted with the local UK 3-pin plug. Right, so it's already pre-fitted. And of course, ours is the 230-240 uh, volts units. So you don't have to worry about um, the voltage and power. Right, so let's open this up and show you right the grinder from Fiorenzato. Right, so let me unwrap this. Right, so this is actually the uh, outlook of the grinder. It is very, very compact. And of course, adjustment ring is done at the top, which I will show you in a short while. Uh, this is the screen whereby it shows you um, the grind indication. So let me plug this in and uh, switch on the grinder and show you, right? Right, to bring you closer to the grinder, let me just take a all-round look. Right, grinder is pretty well built. Uh, this is the matte white finish, not the glossy kind. The on-off switch is here, so let's turn on the grinder. This is a metal dial with a friction grip here. So as you start up, you'll see that you'll be getting this uh, signal here, which is actually rep representing uh, the QR code, which will bring you to the all ground. Right, currently we are at the espresso range, so therefore you can see we can grind single and double and manual. Right, so the moment you touch it, it's manual. You can preset the double dose or the single dose. Right, it can also be activated by the um, portal filter. I believe this height can be adjusted. So let me adjust the height so that you will be uh, hands-free. Okay, the height can actually be adjusted by unscrewing the hex screw here. Um, but I will not be doing the unscrewing today because it's a bit tight and I need some time to probably loosen this nut here. So basically what you can see here is that the, at the moment I'm actually at espresso grind. And by adjusting the uh, grind collar, uh, it will indicate to us uh, which grinding range are we going for so for example now is as i unscrew to mocha right once i pass the red color marker right it will go to mocha right you can see the mocha pot there and i can continue to move and once i pass this it will go to filter coffee right so you can see a filter v60 logo there and of course that is the largest range you can grind to and beyond that you can actually press this button and the whole collar can actually be removed, right? And you can see the collar is really, really well built, very solid. And there's a rubber um, sort of a grip for you to turn the collar. So it makes the adjustment much, much easier and with less effort. Okay, and let me see how the burr is, right? So this is um, sort of something like an anti-popcorn device. This can definitely be improved. So later on, I will look at uh, how to improve this later on. And the whole burr just slide out this way, right? There's no need to do any um, alignment because it's already pre-aligned. So this is the comparable SSP uh, burr set. It is slightly um, purplish in color, right? It is the same grade as the SSP red speed. So you can see a better, get a better look at the color. Right, so the design is very, very similar to the high uniformity on the SSP uh, burr sets. Right, so basically what you need to do to install back, it's very simple. Just pop this back, make sure it's aligned. The four corners are properly aligned. Right, and then what you need to do is to adjust it back. Press down. Okay, probably quite hard to do with one hand. Okay, you can see I can even do it with one hand. So as you screw back, once you cross the mocha pot, you go to mocha. And once you go to espresso, you go to espresso. 
right so let's try to grind some beans and see how it goes and with the hopper installed right it is slightly taller than the ds64 right uh in the near future i'll probably compare the two grinder to see um the usability and the out of the box experience for this grinder versus the df64 and uh oh yeah one more thing is actually the exit shoot right so you can see this is the exit shoot of the forenzato or ground and you can actually remove this uh, to clean so you can pop this out it's actually magnetized and because this is metal right it doesn't uh, I, I will have to test whether the static issue will there be any static issue with this kind of arrangement because now this shoot is actually metal right so you can see a magnet over there right it's a bit too dark inside probably can't see very well all right so it can just be popped back easily all right it's magnetized so let's load some coffee beans inside the test Before that, let's pull open this. Oh wow, the coffee ground is really fluffy. And uh, you can see that when I grind espresso, there's no static or whatsoever. Um, of course, this is not a grinder that's designed for zero retention, but uh, this is definitely a grinder that produces very fluffy ground. So as you can see, so this is actually the uh, manual button. Right, so if you want to do, um, let's say, a filter coffee, what you can do is you can attach this um, to here. Okay, I have to learn how to use this, but I'm quite sure that this can be attached um, so that it will catch all the coffee that's coming out. Okay, let me read the manual to see how this is used. Okay. There's more things inside. Ah, so this is the cover. Right, so I'll read the manual on how to use this. Right, so this is definitely a catcher for the coffee ground. Right, it should look something like this. The shape look the the shape looks a bit funny though. Okay, so I will be figuring out how to use this in the next video. All right, so let's just put this aside. But from the coffee ground, you can see the coffee is really, very really fluffy. And uh, um, I have quite a high expectation for this grinder. So in the next few days, I'll be testing this grinder uh, and probably um, do a comparison soon with the DS64, which is there. Right, so this is the main China DS64. Right, this is the uh, main Italy uh, Fiorenzato all ground. So let's see how well this grinder can do. Right, so um, it's pretty exci exciting that now we have this grinder with us and uh, definitely we'll be pushing this grinder and we'll be doing a lot more videos with the Florenzato All Ground. Um, of course, we'll continue to explore the, uh, uh, the use of DS64 and make it better, but uh, we'll be shifting the content uh, more towards exploring other grinders as well. So um, we do not want to focus our channel just on one grinder, but as you can see from, cha from my channel, I try to uh, showcase the machines that our sh our company brings in and uh, um, yeah it's pretty exciting and uh, do stay tuned with us and uh, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and uh, ring the bell if you want to stay updated with whatever content that we have uploaded so you'll not miss a single one right so thank you for joining me today this is CY and I'll see you in the next video very soon oh by the way um, the episode 2 
of the DF64 for, for Burr's blind test. Okay, I know blind test is not exactly correct um, because um, I think I have a viewer commenting that the blind test should be um, the tester. The person is testing the coffee shouldn't know what coffee what kind of coffee we are using and what kind of burst that we are using right but we all know that the uh, DSCC will come with a very limited number of bursts for example the multi-purpose the uh, high uniformity the um, Casper and of course the Itamil and the and the blue burst sets all together there are five different burst sets for the DF64 and um, to begin with, we already know there are five different burrs existing, but we have we are testing four for the espresso, espresso, right? So um, uh, it, it it will not be uh, the fairest test in the world, but then we are trying to share with everyone um, that's watching my videos about the tasting profile um, and what to expect if you are trying if you are going to get a burr for yourself, right? So that's what we are trying to do and. We are, we are not saying that we are performing a very fair test. We are just giving you feedback on what we think of the tasting profile uh, are for the different pro sets. And uh, instead of me talking about it, I actually invited two of my friends to share with their, their views on how they find the tasting profile done on the other birds so that it will be more fair uh, instead of just me talking about it. Right. So thank you for joining me. Stay tuned for the premiere of the episode 2 tomorrow morning. Right in Singapore time, 7 a.m. Right, so um, stay tuned for that as well. So thank you for your support. And there's one more thing. I'll be launching sort of a membership for my YouTube channel. Right, uh, so if you're interested, right, please. Uh, and if you're interested to support my channel, right, I'll, I will not be... Um, it is a voluntary-based uh, contribution to my channel. And I appreciate if you are able to contribute monthly a small amount to support me so that I can actually buy other stuff to uh, sort of do review and um, I'm also going to do in a way that's similar to what other channels are doing uh, which means that uh, I'll be using the money that I gathered from the uh, contribution monthly by all my supporters and I'll use those money to buy um, probably uh, gadgets in uh, making coffee or if the uh, money is enough I'll probably spend it to buy some grinders, which I think is uh, used, is has a potential, and I'll share with everyone. And after that, I'll probably give the grinder to one of the supporters of my channel. Of course, this is by um, this is by uh, drawing lots, and uh, of course, once you have gotten one, uh, other other contributors to my channels will get, uh, will sort of um, um, get it the next time. So um, if that's, that's what I plan to do. So I'm going to start it pretty soon and I'll be doing another video to introduce uh, uh, the membership on my channel as well. So I hope that uh, you find my content useful and continue to support me. So thank you for joining me today.